Hello, spiritual seekers. Welcome to my channel. I'm Amber, and you've arrived at my spiritual manifestation space, where we delve deeply into the mysteries of life, love, spirituality, and of course, the powerful law of attraction. Each video here is a journey of self-discovery and growth, and today's mystical adventure is just beginning. I can't wait to see what energy will manifest with us today. To ensure this reading resonates deeply with you, the best way to strengthen our energetic connection is by liking this video and subscribing to the channel. By doing this, we not only increase our numbers, but also exchange energy, allowing me to interpret your vibration with more clarity and precision. So, subscribe, like this video, and let's dive into the cosmic messages that await us. The first card to reveal itself today is the Justice card, and it appeared in the reversed position. As it revealed itself, I felt a profound energy filling the room, indicating that we are dealing with issues of balance, justice, and karmic consequences, viewed through a lens of misalignment or unresolved tensions. The reversed position of justice suggests a great disturbance in the balance of things, pointing to injustices or imbalances not yet corrected. As I connected with the energy of this card, I felt a palpable shift in the atmosphere, as if unresolved stories and unmet obligations were trying to emerge. It's as if the card reflects the feelings of those attracted to this reading, perhaps indicating that someone is struggling with the consequences of decisions that did not go as planned. This could refer to a professional scenario with a lack of fairness, a personal relationship that has lost its balance, or an old belief about justice being challenged. There is also a sense of delayed justice or postponed resolutions emerging with this card. I sense echoes of delays, long processes, or situations where you had to wait much longer than expected, struggling to find clarity or closure. It's as if the scales of justice are stuck, waiting to balance, but something is holding them back, keeping the truth or resolution out of reach. As I draw the next card, I feel a specific energy, and the name Michael comes to mind. Along with this name, I see the image of a silver watch with a worn leather strap. This watch symbolizes time and its management, or perhaps mismanagement, in a relationship. The hands of the watch mark moments that pass and missed opportunities. It seems someone allowed precious time to slip away, postponing crucial actions or decisions. Additionally, I feel that you recently made the brave decision to distance yourself from a person or emotional situation. I visualize a vast expanse of sand or a blanket of snow in front of you, evoking a sense of isolation, as if you were left out in the cold. Your memories of this person or situation are gradually fading, erased by the winds of change or the tide of time. Their impact, once so clear and distinct, is now becoming just a fleeting trace in the landscape of your life. This person, emanating a strong masculine energy, seems to be struggling with a deep sense of loss and absence. The masculine card appeared, pointing to your divine masculine, possibly your twin flame or soulmate, who is now in a state of deep reflection and regret. They search for you in every face in the crowd, haunted by your image and the echo of what was left unsaid. There is a presence of Capricorn energy here, suggesting that structure, ambition, or practicality may have played a role in your dynamic. To deepen these energies, I will pull some cards from the Burning Love Oracle. Interestingly, I see the image of someone with dark hair, possibly sporting a beard, embodying the traditional resilience and seriousness of Capricorn. It seems you and this person were drawn to each other by the universe itself, but there was a fundamental disparity in how each of you engaged with this connection. From your side, 
there was total commitment and openness, while from their side, there was reluctance and hesitation, masking deeper fears. This person, whom the cards suggest is not malicious but deeply fearful, may have exhibited behaviors that seemed almost deceptive. They were not entirely sincere in their actions, which may have felt like a betrayal to you. This lack of sincerity was not born out of a lack of love or desire, but from a deep fear of what truly embracing such a deep connection would entail. You, the listener, have always had a unique ability to see beyond appearances. You understood the other person's fears, recognizing the emotional turmoil they felt, which makes everything even more painful. Understanding the depth of your love and the fear it caused put you in front of a difficult reality. Even so, there came a moment when your self-respect had to prevail. The pain of continuing in a cycle of emotional stagnation and unmet needs became unbearable. You decided not to remain trapped in an illusory state of a what could be, a refusing to let your spirit be stifled by someone else's fears. The decision to walk away was not just about ending a relationship, but an act of profound self-love and preservation. This disconnection was necessary, not for lack of love, but because the love was getting lost in a maze of fears and half-measures. The saddest part of this connection was not the unrealized potential, but the realization that despite the deep feelings that existed, they were tainted by choices driven by fear, rather than courage. The word e deceptive je might seem strong, but it reflects actions taken out of fear, which distort the truth and create barriers to genuine connection. The sadness you feel is not just for a relationship that didn't work out, but for the realization that the person you loved was never fully present as they could have been. Now, as you move forward, you know that although the connection was real, it couldn't flourish in the shadow of unresolved fears and hidden truths. The journey ahead is about healing, about finding peace knowing that walking away was not just necessary, but the only true path to maintaining your integrity and self-respect. Your spiritual guides convey a deep understanding of your most intimate feelings. They recognize that while part of you may still yearn for what was, walking away is essential for your greater good. The guidance you are receiving makes it clear that to truly preserve what remains of this soul connection, and more importantly, your own spiritual well-being, you must choose yourself first. This means letting go of the plans and expectations you had for this relationship and allowing yourself to heal and move forward. Your guides emphasize the importance of breaking a cycle marked by stagnation and possible deception. They highlight that the only path to true freedom, both for you and the other person, is through individual growth, achieved by distancing from past pain. While the prospect of reconnection might appear in your spiritual readings, it is presented not as a certainty, but as a possible outcome of your independent evolutions. This notion is not meant to instill hope of reunification, but to illustrate that if a reunion happens, it must be under new terms, defined by mutual growth and understanding, not by past grievances. By freeing yourself from this bond, your guides are not necessarily advocating for a permanent disconnection, but are emphasizing the need for a period of introspection and self-care that allows both of you the space to grow. If in the future your paths cross again, it will be because you both have reached a state of greater understanding and maturity, allowing for a healthy interaction, whether as friends or partners. However, the power to make decisions about any future interaction remains entirely in your hands. The cards encourage you to reflect on your journey and prioritize your healing. Any decision about forgiveness, reconnection, or closure should come from a place of strength and clarity, ensuring they can positively contribute to your life. 
It is essential to remember that your well-being and peace of mind come first. The choices you make from here on, whether to forgive and possibly reconnect or to maintain your distance, should serve your happiness and spiritual growth. The tarot guidance suggests that while the other person may indeed feel the weight of their actions and desire forgiveness, the final control over what happens next is with you. Remember, they know they cannot undo their mistakes, but they wish they could transform your future. This person dreams of a future where they have redeemed themselves from their mistakes, where they have offered a sincere apology and shown true remorse for their past actions. They imagine a future where you can find it in your heart to forgive them, a future where they can prove they have learned and grown from their mistakes. They dream of rebuilding the bridges they burned, showing that they have changed and that they can be worthy of your friendship. However, what happens is entirely up to you. Your guardian angels have provided this vision to help you make an informed decision. It is not about rushing forgiveness or holding on to a grudge, but about listening to your heart and soul, reflecting on their past actions, and deciding if their remorse is genuine and worthy of your forgiveness. Remember, you are in control, not them. If they seek your forgiveness, understand that this does not need to disturb the peace you have built. You have become stronger, more resilient, and wiser since they were part of your life. You have learned to love and respect yourself more, to know what you deserve and to seek happiness on your own terms. Whatever your choice, allowing them back into your life should serve your peace, happiness, and future. As we continue with the reading, a message of deep resonance and power has just spoken to me, affirming the connection between your deepest desires and the universe's response. Your strong desire has indeed reached the cosmos, setting the stage for transformative changes in a positively charged environment. This change brings with it signs of hope, encouragement, love, faith, and trust in yourself and the divine realm. Rest assured that significant changes are on the horizon of your life, but there is no room for fear. For those whom this message touches, it will resonate deeply on a personal level. Additionally, today's spread also presents us with the Angel of Strength card. As we delve into the wisdom of this card, we are entering a time of increasing power for you. This period calls for you to remain active rather than passive, assertive rather than submissive. Your guides are echoing a crucial reminder. Do not relinquish your power to anyone or anything, even to connections perceived as divine. Often, these deep spiritual connections, though complex and intertwined, serve to highlight and trigger underlying wounds that prevent you from accessing and harnessing your full potential. Now is the time to address these wounds, to reclaim your strength and autonomy. Your spiritual journey should not be overshadowed by the reactions or pain of the other, regardless of their current state of awakening. It is imperative that you continue to prioritize your well-being maintaining control over your life and decisions. Trust in the spiritual principle that what truly belongs to you will find its way back to you in time, as you ascend to your higher self. There is a potential, though not a necessity, that this person will mirror your growth, driven by their intrinsic motivations to evolve. As we conclude this session, Let's delve into some final cards to encapsulate the energies and messages that have emerged. The cards now presenting themselves are the High Priestess and the Knight of Cups reversed. This combination reveals a profound dynamic at play. Essentially, what we are seeing is a clash between the enigmatic and intuitive energy of the High Priestess and the evasive and unstable energy represented by the Knight of Cups in its reversed position. The Knight of Cups reversed often symbolizes someone who is trying to escape reality, 
someone struggling with a poorly defined sense of identity and essentially running from their true self. This masculine energy, when confronted with the High Priestess, their divine feminine essence, found themselves unprepared for such a direct confrontation with the truth. The High Priestess does not allow for escapism. She forces us to face who we really are, holding up a mirror to our deepest selves. There is a specific element that stood out during this interaction. Eye contact. Initially, this person was drawn to the intensity of looking into your eyes, feeling a magnetic pull that intrigued them deeply. However, over time, this same gaze became too intense, too revealing. The more they looked into your eyes, the more exposed they felt, to the point where it became intimidating. You may have noticed a shift where what was once a deep connection through eye contact became something they avoided. This avoidance stemmed from their discomfort in being seen so authentically. This individual is not yet ready to fully confront their reality. They need to undergo significant maturation, both spiritually and emotionally. They may still be clinging to outdated self-perceptions, perhaps influenced by familial expectations or societal norms, living a life dictated by others instead of forging their own path. This reading indicates the need for this person to grow, to move beyond living for others and begin living for themselves. They must let go of past identities and embrace who they truly are at their core. This journey of self-discovery and acceptance is crucial for their evolution. I sincerely hope this reading reaches those who most need these words. If you felt a connection with the insights shared today, I encourage you to interact in the comments below. Thank you for joining me on this journey today. I hope you carry forward the strength and clarity gained here into a beautiful and fulfilling day. Remember, you hold the power, and your path is yours to shape. I look forward to connecting with you again in the next video.